Good morning. So I gathered up some parts. I realized I still have a brand new BCM QD. <coughs> That'll suffice. I'm gonna leave the uh, Noveski alone for a little bit. Um. I just have to get my bolts for both of these vices. Neither is locked down. That's solid. But we'll do what I can. Okay, so let's do our CNF. Then we have our ECM. Okay. Now our buffer retainer. Get our two springs. Let's get our detents out. Roll open. Empty bag. Screws for optics. Screws for optics. Here's a spring. Another spring. I thought I ordered some detents in the past as well. You are roll pin starters. Is there anything in the third box? I don't think so. Well, there's something in there, but it's not what we need. The cap for the barrel. And some optic screws again. So, and I dropped the detent. It's here somewhere. That's one. But good luck finding it. Well, I pulled these two out. Swept up a pile. I can't find my mag. I have a magnetic uh, extendable thing. Somehow that got lost in the move here. Uh, I swept everything up. I carefully went through the pile. I don't see any detail. I found two. There was one in the uh, BAD lower. I removed that one very carefully with my hand cupped. And somehow the detent escaped. And who knows where it went. I didn't hear it fall. I pulled all these out. Like I said, this garage likes to eat small parts. Because there's so many crevices for them to fall into. And detents especially. You can't hear them drop. They're tiny little dudes. They don't really make a sound, so, and they're so bloody small, so. All right, I finally got it. I found the detents I needed after searching and hunting through bags and parts. I need to order some backups though. Uh, this is all torqued down to 37 foot pounds. I backed it off a few. 35 to 40 is the range. Uh, both pivot pins are fine now. Touch and go there because I didn't have any more. There's two on the floor somewhere in the mat in the multiverse somewhere. Alright, so let's throw that upper on there. Oh well actually first and foremost. So there's two in there. now 
you get those bolts. I was able to torque it. It got a little jumpy towards the end, but I got it. It clicked over. Very simple. Need to get those bolts, uh, proper size bolts. Okay. Gentlemen, there's the LMT. What are you rocking right now, brother? I think that's an AM Precision right now. I'm going to give him one of the better ones. Never got that damn VCM. I was going to run that in this guy. Cool. I mean, like I said, at some point in the future, I'd like to get a factory LMT upper. And you get scratched, Mr. EPC. I still got to take that trigger out and put those anti-walk uh, things in. I didn't have those with my higher-end geyserless. Are those embedded into the trigger itself? And that's why it's a little cheaper. Do the G2S. Let's ghost it. A little bit of take up, a little wall. Reset. Pretty, pretty good. Feels on par with the other ones. BCM QD end plate, SCD CNF black from Sean. Thanks again, Sean. FCD RHF 12.8, the Triarch 13.9 from Nick. Thanks, Nick. I think I'm going to go snake the Triarch BCG and run that. How'd you get scratched, buddy? You're supposed to be pristine and Gucci. Now you look like you actually get used and shit. What the fuck's that about? <laughs> uh, not bad. Not bad. Safe. It'll do. I just gotta get that trigger. I gotta watch a video. You're supposed to use both of these things or just one? These little guys? Didn't have to do that with the other guys' list, so. Wasn't sure what they were for. Or should I just freaking run it? Are they really gonna walk? I don't know. I'll do it the right way. Mr. LMT and Triarch. What's up, buddy? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's try that heavy bolt catch. I need a mag for that, don't I? <laughs> As far as ergonomics, I think I like the radian spacing a little better, as well as the ADM. You have to reach a little more on this one, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Running the SD Raptor in there right now. I also have the Geisley. Airborne. They run that guy. A little smaller. And I'll. Uh, Knock out those anti walk thingies on the trigger. I'll watch a video. Make sure it's done right, you know. Everything else, I'll give it a final walk around. Everything should be torqued properly on the upper, but just check everything. 
take a look at the thread, see what needs a little Loctite so I don't have to grab some. But all in all, I'd say he's going to be a runner. Cool. Enjoy your Sunday. Peace. America.